Uh, are you happy to be here? Uh, let's continue today. Let me greet you all in Jesus' name. I'm greeting you in Jesus' name. Yes, let's read the Bible. Uh, open your Bible. Can we read Joshua 24? Arab Alik Molo, Joshua 24. Joshua 24, 13 and 14. Joshua chapter 24, 13 and 14. I have given you a land for which you did not labor and cities you did not build and you dwell in them you eat from vineyards and olive yards you did not plant now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. Make a linele na hayele saka hola itapisha chayona limitzi limitzi yele saka hola ya aha la dula huyona la jamurara limoswari wa wole saka hola usima jalo re lebo ifeng morena mutankele nkatalo le ka go mmotegela le ile medimo ye botata wenu ba be o ba itlankela mo la ba sa le moshola wa noka le kwa e gepita le hlankeleng moreng let's pray ara ra pele father we thank you for your word in jesus name amen amen today i want us to learn something else and le gono ke rata re ithuta se sengwe i've been also try to find out what makes us not to receive from God. Yes. Many times we say we have connection with Jesus. When we say the name of Jesus, nothing happened. Can you see when you say in the name of Jesus? Uh, Jesus must appear. Why he is not appearing. Why is not appearing? Where we have read, you can still see the lesson that has affected the Israelites. There was no sincerity. Tasha was say, be sincere. Be sincere. That's what we'll be talking about today. Sincerity can affect your stand. And also makes you to qualify what is not right. If you can read here, you see the Israelites that Joshua was telling them. Joshua Nava You people here, yes, we can talk about the truth. Everybody can fake the truth. But if you know that God took you from the land of slavery, you can understand that you need to serve him with sincerity. Truth and sincerity Truth is a step to sincerity. In other words, when you say you are practicing the truth, when your truth is checked, whether it's genuine, that is sincerity. Many times we say we are sincere, but we show the people outside, but deep inside we are not. 
So Joshua say, so Joshua are we born? God took you out from that land. So you were supposed to be considering that. And worship him in sincerity. Not to show publicly. Whereas deep down you are still in your father's gods. Therefore, you are checked by your sincerity. Not by announcing the truth. You are checked by your standing beyond the truth. Whether what you are saying you are. You are. So you can see here Joshua say your God who did one, two, three and make you not to labor and you receive what you never labor for. Meaning he can still do more if you worship him. That's, that's what Joshua was saying. Remember where he took you? But you are forgetting. Hallelujah. Amen. 14 says, now, verse 14, therefore, Fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity. Everybody can still say, I fear the Lord. I'm serving God. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans 12 verse 9. Roma 12 9. Let's go there. I'm sure when we are talking about sincerity. Tell somebody to say, be sincere. Romans 12, 9. Romans 12, 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. It says what? Let your love be sincere. In other words, be genuine or be real. Hate what is evil. Hate what is evil. Uh, but hold fast to that which is good. Lerato lisike la ikhancha libe ba shoyi lengubi le khumare le bulu. Now here you can still see that. Jano mori akono le muawri. We are still checked in our sincerity. Resal le muwa muwi kanyong bari na ole kulo. How far we hate what is evil. Ora shoyi le bubi ufitakai. The Bible says, be sincere. In what you say, you love. Can you see when people are saying the name of Jesus? There might be saying that without sincerity. Or what they are saying is not genuine. Because when God checked you, he found this cannot produce what you are saying. Here the Bible says, be sincere in your love. Meaning, don't pretend. Don't pretend. When you check your love work in the Lord, are you sincere? You know, you can still be a Christian. That shows you are a Christian. Where is your Somewhere. You find you are not junior. Let me try to tell you another name of sincere. It means son judge. Son judge. S U N Sun. Judge. Can you see the day? The day must declare. That what you say you are. What you say you are. You mean it. That's what I'm my friend. The day must declare you. 
When time is going, time is going. You are checked on we what you said. Cool. Let me give you an example. Remember the prophets of Baal. When they were trying to prove that their God is God. They, they, they declare them. What is sun judge? It's when you <laughs> take <laughs> the cloth <laughs> and you put it like this. <laughs> Out of the sun, you are still going to see some wrong spots. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> it is not clean. <laughs> so sincerity is when you deal with any dating <laughs> to clean yourself <laughs> so that when you are declared, you find you are viable. Tell someone, my friend. Do you remember the prophets of Baal? Time was going, 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 and nothing was happening. Whereas they have to prove their sincerity to their God. Because the more you are sincere to your God, your God will deliver. If you remember when Daniel was told, the king said, Daniel, God whom you serve day and night, let him save you. Because your sincerity declare your victory. Tell somebody, say, my friend, your sincerity declare your victory. So now, if you check the prophets of Baal, the sincerity shows their victory. Their victory was failure. So, in your sincerity, there is success and failure. You are declared by how far you are sincere. Tell someone, my friend, you are declared by how far you are sincere. Look at this verse. In First John three, John, chapter three, verse eighteen to nineteen. Verse eighteen to nineteen. I I love this verse because John, First John, John, First John, John, chapter three, chapter three, from verse what? Eighteen. Eighteen. Are you there? Later. Eighteen to nineteen. Little children, let us not love in theory or in speech, but in deed and in truth. In other words, in practice and in sincerity. Banabaka, are sikera ratana kapulelo, leka lilimi, are ratanen katiro, leka tiresho. Kisona se rito utseba kasona, re liba tiresho me. By this we shall come to know that we are of the truth and can reassure our hearts in his presence. Amen. You can see that the moment when you are junior or you are in, in sincerity or you are becoming sincere your assurance in his presence it has been declared you know what the Bible says it says you, you must come with boldness in his presence to find grace and mercy boldness is meaning that you are sincere and you will be declared you are fit in this presence. Think about you are coming here 
in the na, church na, and you are still having those dots or spots and lima, li, 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 di which are not needed automatically you are rejected Ura, ro, se, cho, in his presence ba, you are being checked Ria, le, why Jesus why said to a, a Pharisee, Omo Pharisee and he said this man who Aro, talked yana, about no, no. what he did in the church. He went home empty. But a tax collector who said, I don't want to come close to you. I know myself. I'm not even fit to be in your presence. And the Bible says, he went home with grace. The problem we have is we don't know that our sincerity teaches us to understand ourselves. Tell a neighbor, your sincerity teaches you to know yourself. Get out from other people's issues. Deal with yourself. Get out from what they're saying. Check yourself every day. The mistakes we are doing is because we are on others people's matters than ourselves. But sincerity makes us to deal with our weakness so that we stand our ground where we are needed. Do you know that now in the church nowadays it's so dirty because that we are doing what Jesus said we must not do. Jesus said, when you see a man wearing in purple, you take him forward to sit here. You justify a person by the This makes the church dirty. But if we can deal with each and everyone ourselves. The glory of God will descend. And the reality will work. I don't know if you're hearing me. The reason why the church is going down. We are busy with outside. But not inside. We are busy with ourselves. Outside. We want to be visible. Anywhere. As we are not visible before God. Let me ask you. A Are you visible today? As your neighbor. Because you might be visible in front of men. But whereas before God, you are not visible. So sincerity makes you to check your love. Work. And this makes you and to be visible to, to the one who called you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Hallelujah. Amen. Let, verse, let me read again that verse. Maybe, maybe it will help us. Verse 19. By this, we shall come to know that we are of the truth. In other words, we will know ourselves and can reassure our hearts in his presence. If you read Psalm 145, also 18 and 19, it says the Lord is near to those who call him in his sincerity and in his truth. The Lord is near. The Lord is near you. Listen. Calling, calling in Psalm 145, 18 it says, The Lord is near. In other words, our ancestors so close to us. If the Lord is near, it means our resources are close to us. 
If the Lord is the one who provides, automatically if he's near to us, we are in our resources. You are not far to where you are going. If you check yourself and become sincere every day, the Lord is near. Tell him about the Lord is not far. You know, when I read this Isaiah, you know, all the time that talks about my hand is not short, my ear is not deaf. It troubles me. It means the Lord is so close to us. And remember what Jesus says, Lord, I'm with you until to the end. The Lord himself says, I will never leave you or forsake you. What makes the Lord to be so close that you find that he's not helping us? We are not sincere. The reason why we are praying, trusting God with our mouth, not with our hearts, is because we don't know he's close. If he's close to us, he can provide. If he's close to us, he can deliver. If he's close to us, we don't need to shout. Even when we are whispering, you he can hear. I prophesy you. What you thought is far, you are getting it today. Your amen is weak. It's penalbited. Amen. Be sincere is to say, I don't want to ask somebody I don't know. Can you see when you come to God and say, I'm asking for a car, I'm asking for a house. The question is, how far are you related? If you ask whom you don't know, you might be a thief. Because at the end of the day, you will use it against him. So to be sincere is, as I'm asking you, it's also for the benefit of both of us. I don't know if you're hearing me. That's why Jesus said you ask because of your lust. That's why you don't receive. There are Christians who are here today. Their sincerity will take them to a higher level where the glory of God will be mentioned and the people who will praise the living God. Can you see when we are not sincere? We have no you can come to church, you dance. When you come up to the church, you are still in your sins. No one will question you. As long as you are visible in the church. But your reality is not existing. And no one can detect you as a Christian. The church today is suffocating because of the Christians who don't know that God is so close. In Matthew 15, from verse 1 there, Jesus was speaking about such Christians. He said, they honor me with their mouth, but their hearts are foul. Because they were not sincere. You sincere. You speak from your heart. The Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. But you know, a Christian who is not sincere, he always tries to rob God. Because he does not speak from his heart. Think about your worshiping. But you're not worshiping from your heart. You are praying. You are not praying from your heart. You are fasting. You are not pray, fasting from your Mama told me that Mama when she comes to church, I must forget her. I tried to check why she's saying that. I found that she will do something 
because of the sincerity which I could judge she can dance for that one and you find that it's not the dance that I approve but the one above is approved because sincerity makes you to do things to please that one, but no one will understand you around you. The family can reject you when you are busy, like what David did. Sincerity takes you to a place where you will be alone and forget everybody around you, and you please the one who called you, and you don't care who's talking. Because you know the one who called you is so close to you and is hearing you and is communicating with you. Therefore, by sincerity, you are uplifted and become projected to his presence. And you can hear what other people cannot hear. And you can talk what they cannot talk. So you will do what they cannot do. Why? Because you are in a place where they are not. That is sincerity. Christians are not sincere. They are always in flesh. When God says, do this, they say, ah. So the reason why God is not working today, some people, they have to be unconscious so that God will send them. Like Peter. Like Peter. Sincerity brings your unconscious to be conscious. Peter becomes unconscious so that God will show him first to believe that he can expand himself in his ministry. Some stagnations will cause not becoming sincere. Because once you are sincere, you can expand the project. Therefore, you will be knowing your mistakes and also advance them by new knowledge. I don't know if you are hearing me. Because your reality will come and revelation will, bring, will come to your mind. This will bring knowledge. Christians who are not sincere, they are always in stagnation. Because the Satan knows where he can get them. But Christians who are sincere, they are aware of their stagnation. And their stagnation could not hold them. They carry on out of their stagnation and leave victory out of their stagnation. Therefore, you cannot judge a Christian by his stagnation. That has to be sincere. Can you look at the person's eyes? Are you sure you are Christian? Say be sincere. Can I give you an example so that you understand? Because I'm told that some of you are lost. A person Mood. who say thank you in sincerity, he might be speaking out of his heart. And he cannot talk further out of that. And no the moment a person say thank you, they heart. That person tomorrow can change. What is it? That is sincerity. He who says thank you and oppose what he said, he said it without sincerity. 
If you say God is with me, and tomorrow you say, Where are you, God? The question was, why you said God was with you. You just spoke it. We are judges by what everywhere we speak. We are judges by We are judged by every word we speak. The reason why you kneel down and you pray, will always show you first. You must overcome your pretender first before you reach a level where God can hear you. The moment you kneel down, you will see the person who hated you. You will see the words you spoke the whole day. Therefore, it means your sincerity is being checked when you are busy praying. Fight and overcome until you reach a level where there is no other voice that says and accuse you. If you talk about Joshua, the Bible says when he was standing before the Holy Throne, Satan accused him because of his clothes. The Bible says his clothes were dirty. But the angel rebuked him. I don't know if you're hearing me. Some of you, you're outside is try to accuse your inside. So don't listen unto your outside. Carry on with your inside. Maybe your inside is not being understood by the surrounding, but don't mind about what is happening. Carry on with your sincerity. You might be judged by what Satan is looking outside because of misunderstanding and he judge you wrong. But don't look unto outside. Carry on with your... But the more you carry on, heaven will speak. Today, heaven will speak. Today, heaven will speak. Today, heaven will Today, heaven will speak. 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 Today, the day I lose money. When I say I love you, still sincerity will be changed. Many things that has happened to marriage was not because devil wanted them to fight. God was checking their sincerity. When they said that it's been checked. Your poverty you are facing in your marriage. It's not poverty. It's to check your sincerity. The lack and stagnation, limitation, and pain and sorrow with all this is your It's not what you think you are facing. Is checking what you said. So that what you said, if you are still standing on it, you will receive a hundred from above. I don't know if you are hearing that. Look at this verse. Let's Let's carry on. Say. As I say, my friend, are you sure you are sincere? In Matthew 6, from verse 1 to 8, there are two things from verse there. 1 to 8. There are two things you must check there. There is alms and prayer. Give me You must check there is alms and prayer. You know, Jesus said something. He said, when you want to pray, enter your own closet. He was not saying, don't pray in public. He was just saying, don't show people. Make sure that you're not doing it for people. Alms and prayers. These two can be faked. Somebody can still pray where else is not praying. Do you, did you ever marry a wife where you can still pray where else is not praying? Did you ever marry a wife where you can still pray 
and the wife say one day musadi are touch le lengwe i know my husband was stupid I just pray so that he must not beat me. Think about your, 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 husband, your wife say, you hear the husband say, I was just going to your church, your husband. Uh, I was just going to your church so that you love me. Prayer and arms can be faked. You can give here. Whereas it's not what God is telling you. You can still kneel down to pray. Whereas you're not talking anything. So, sincerity is needed. In arms and prayers. Alms and prayers are very, very important. Because these two are the ones that bring solutions. So you can be checked on those two. In Acts 10, we see Cornelius and prayers reaching before God. Which then God says, your prayers and your arms, they have reached memorial before God. In other words, when God looks at this man has impeded, he means business of what he's doing. We are always being checked. Can I give you an example? One pastor came to me. He, said, he, just, he just frightened me. <laughs> he said, so, I don't know you. It's a long time. He came to me. He said, I don't know you. I've never met you. But he was able to detect where I stay. Where I he came straight to his car. I don't forget that. He said to me, Always I was shown you that I must come to tithe on you. But there is something that I was shown all the time that is happening with me. There are angels around you. Can you think about angels around you? And question what are they doing? If it is true, there are angels around you. What are they doing? If angels are there to entertain us, it means heaven is for entertainment. But if they are there to guard us, it means also checking. Is there a portion? So we must be very, very careful in all actions we take. Because there might be some people we are not able to see who are checking us. Who are writing everything we are saying. Who are hearing everything we are saying. I don't know if you are hearing me. As I was saying, my friend. If truly people are writing, what you are saying. If they bring them to public, are you going to be pleased? Are you going to, can you ask your neighbor? Are you going to be pleased? Because such things might be proving that somewhere, somehow, you get out of the way and you live your own life. Think about people. You can't see they are writing everything they are saying. If we can ask some of you here say, why, why you, you say this, you will be very, very embarrassed. So now, Jesus said, when you pray, enter inside your closet. Don't do things to show. In other words, do things because there is heaven who is watching. Do you know that if you do things because God is watching you, you will please him only. Huh? You will please only him. 
today. Check how you walk. Check how you walk. You are in public. Though you are hidden. Though you think you are hiding yourself before God, you are in public. You need to check yourself. I don't know if you are hearing me. Ask your neighbor, say, my friend. If everything you do in secret can be revealed today, your pretendence won't be found? Can you ask your neighbor that question before we continue? So, alms and prayers somebody can still fake them. There are things you can fake in the church here and Mom, before God. Kereking, wa, 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 Worship wa, can be fake. Alms can be fake. Prayers can be fake. I remember one day our spiritual father. I don't forget that day. There was a boy that was born by the day the church started. On that day, my spiritual father was celebrating the birth of the day and so, the birthday of the boy. So, one day, so now he spoke with one of the worshippers and said, sing the song of birthday. So, birthday. And now the lady began to say, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. One of the pastors very close to the pastor. And I was standing very close to him. He lifted his hands a, to a worship. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. Birthday. He began to hear the song when it changes. <laughs> How old are you now? He put his hands very fast. <laughs> and he looked around. <laughs> he found me looking at him. <laughs> because worship can be faked. Not all hands that are going up are going up because of God. There's another song we, we used to sing here. I love you again and again. I love you again and again. That song, I said I won't sing it because some boyfriends and girlfriends. <laughs> Girlfriend, they began to sing for themselves. <laughs> you mean so much to me, my brother. <laughs> Sincerity is lacking. That's what I say, my friend. I want to be sincere. How many of you are sincere or you want to be sincere? Wave your hand. I want to be sincere. Look what happened when you are sincere. Ephesians by Ephesians 624. 624. I'm closing there. Are you there? Read that verse aloud in your Bible. Amen. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. 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 It means this will come to pass. Those who have sincerity with God or who walk 
or become sincere all the time, they will receive grace. Grace is for the people who are sincere. You know what's grace? That's what they are looking is when people fast for 40 days. And then crying to get something. But you don't fast, you get it. That is grace. Grace is when somebody is paying installment. And you have grace. Somebody just give you the same car. Another one is paying for cars seven years. Yourself, you receive it for free. If you are sincere, free or nothing, expensive things will come to you. Let me try to say, when you are sincere, Nothing will be called expensive to you. You will receive all. The time has come. All from the source. God your father is coming to you. In the name of Jesus. Grace is called undeserved favor. Meaning, you are not fit to have what is supposed to be having. You will be given whereas you are not deserving. Today, somebody is here is receiving something he has never worked for. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Ask your neighbor and say, my friend, are you sure you are sincere? I don't forget one worshiper that I've been telling Christians. She was in a worship team. And the pastor is a well-known singer here in South Africa. Now, when she came here to Charis, the pastor got revelation. Come, sister. You have committed abortion. Yes. Why you don't tell your pastor? Why you sabulele le muruti? You will remove me from worship. I want to sing with him. Kinyo ko bela liena. Why? Mola tu. I want to be a musician. Kinyo ko ba musician? When people are searching things which are their goals. Vato haba nyaka na lidi ntoche ba di levele chio. They don't mind the source. They don't care how they can get it. They can even do wrong to get it. I said to my sister, it's useless for you to stand there when everybody is watching you and you find God is not watching is useless to try to achieve things in the wrong way that you will fail to maintain. And she says, it is true, but it will be very hard for me to tell the pastor. So there are people who told themselves as long as I get what I want. I don't care who says what. I can rather sin. No one knows. If you check yourself, you will say, I cannot please people. I cannot please myself. If I fear God, it's better God bless me in his way than I bless myself. 
others they end up being a boyfriend and a girlfriend ba wa wa fela tsa ba le boyfriend le girlfriend go ke reke and they last for long ba tsana ko etelele because they delay themselves ka hore bona ba dire le go re ba ba dire lo re ba tsena ko etelele ka le bakala o palelo go ba le boikanyo ka ho ba ne ya sinang boikanyo is the one who postpone his time ke ena o dire hore nako ya ga o ya dilo tsa ga di fitisha tsho ko pile He who is not sincere. Yo as nang boikanyo. He is the one who always postpones his time. I thank God for you today. Kelaba mudimo ka lena le khone. I want you to check yourself. Ke ya gore le tle kole. And check God who called you to be here today. Le kole mudimo le bele mudimo la le biditse gore le beteng. Church is not a playing ground. Kereke a simo ba palwang ona. It's a battlefield. Ke mo hulwe wang teng. You need to be serious. Are toko ba serious to deal with issues. Re shumane le ditaba. That concern you and your God. Je di lebele jing wena fela le modimo a hao. Until you overcome. O fitela o khona o tlula. Because one day. Ka le ba ka lorotsa chile lengwe. Heaven will speak for you. Le go dimo le ta go bolelela. Don't allow yourself to be rejected by rejecting favor that God has given you. This is the grace of making us to be in His presence. Let us be bold. We shall receive grace and mercy. God bless you. Can you stand? I want us to pray. Lift up your hands. Today is your day. I said today is your day. Amen. Can you check yourself? Any spot which might be a spot from Satan that devil can use against you. Can you confess it out? Confess that out. Prayer. Confess that out. Thank you, Jesus. Confess that out. I can't hear you. Can you confess that out? Confess that out. The grace of God is following you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Honor and glory, power and praise be unto you. <laughs> I worship you, Jesus. Thank Confess you that situation out. Thank you for your hand that is always upon our lives. Thank you for your Carry on. Your mind, Don't doubt. Yes, Carry on. Don't doubt. Carry on, don't doubt. Confess that out. Confess that out. Confess. Confess that out. Confess it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We cannot hide from your presence. We believe in your holiness. We believe in your love. We believe in what you can do. We magnify your holy name. We bless you and we worship you. We magnify your holy name. We praise you and we bless you. We magnify your holy name. We carabosie it. We magnify your holy name. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Spirit of the Lord. Carry on. Confess that out. We adore you. We bless you and we adore your name and we worship you as the Lord. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor and give you glory. We adore your precious, wonderful, awesome name. You are worthy, Lord. You are precious. You are worthy, Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, Lord. You are omnipresent, omniscient, and all-knowing God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit. Here I am to worship. Carry on. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say. You're my God. All together lovely all together worthy all together wonderful to me 
Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. All together lovely. All together worthy. All together wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful to me. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, there are things you will never do in life. Yeah. Can I tell you one thing that I never did? I never recruit anybody. I never say my church is better than that church. I never did something like that. I said, go, if you have called me, the Bible says you are the one to bring people. So if now I do it myself, what kind of spirit is that? You must check your spirit. You know, I spoke with my wife. I said, we, we must must never ever in our lives life to find someone. Even when we are praying for you, we are not saying come to our church. People that will come to Charis are those that God has called them to come. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you are sincere to your God, God can make a desert to be a pool of water. Keep watching, Charis.